The Bemidji boys basketball team has a bit of a bad taste in their mouth after being upset in the first round of the section tournament last year. With a full arsenal at their disposal, they're ready to take the next step. Despite losing some key contributors from last year's team, the Jacks return the majority of their starting lineup and will have a balanced team this year. Well, the experience will be there. We got three starters coming back, but the young guys are going to step up too pretty good this year, I think. We probably have seven, eight guys that could you know, be our leading scorer on any given night and, and probably in the rebound department as well. Um, that's really nice, nice to have. One big name to keep an eye on is six foot nine forward Spencer Konishny, who is ready for the attention that a player of his skill and size can typically expect. You know, if they start double teaming and and really focusing on me, I'll be looking for cutters and kicking it out for uh, open shots. We think he's going to um, really show some new things this year on the on the offensive end. His his post uh, post moves have improved. His, he's got really good feet, um, so we're excited to see that. He's he's stronger than he was last year, and I think he's even a little bit taller. The Jacks will use their athleticism to their advantage and aim to be a team that isn't a lot of fun to play against. I see our strength being on our speed. We're going to get down the court pretty fast, and I think we're a really good defending team. We got quick feet, so hoping for that. Ten of the 14 players already got a taste of greatness in the fall as members of teams that made it to state, and they're looking to build on that winning mentality this winter. But what we're seeing from those kids is they're ready to compete. You know, they've been competing all fall, and uh, they, you know, they've been competing, and, and they're ready to continue. It's just another day. It's just another sport. The ball's a different shape, and uh, they're ready to go. And they'll tip off on Saturday against St. Cloud Apollo. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.